Today I'm going to show you how I upcycled some old food containers and turned them into some fun camping buckets. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. The supplies you'll be needing for today are some white buckets. You can purchase these brand new from a hardware store or you can do what I did and go on to Facebook Marketplace and see if there's someone near you who's trying to get rid of some old food buckets. So the ones I have only cost me about $3 each, which makes this a very affordable craft to do. You'll also need some lights to go inside your buckets. These ones are from Amazon and I'll leave these ones linked down below in the description of this video. You'll need some black vinyl. You can use permanent or removable for this project. You'll need your Cricut cutting machine, whether that's one of the explorers or makers. You'll need some weeding tools, transfer tape, and some other tape that can be painter's tape or masking tape. And you'll need a squeegee or a scraper. Once you have all your supplies, you need to go onto Cricut Design Space and select your image. These are the images I will be using for the two buckets I'm making today. I got these from Design Bundles, but you can also upload images from Cricut Design Space by heading over to Images, typing in Camping Bucket, and choosing one of these designs. You can also go ahead and make your own design. If you're interested in the designs I'm using, I will leave those linked down below in the description of this video. Before you go ahead and click on Make It, make sure your entire design has been attached together. So this design here on my left, as you can see, is not attached together. And if I were to press make it right now, it would cut out all separately. But because I want this to cut out as one image all together, I am gonna select everything here and then go down to the bottom right and click on attach. Now, when I go to press make it, this will cut out all together. And you'll see here we have our first design for our first pail and our second design for our second pail here. Let's go ahead and click on that first mat again and click on continue. We're gonna select our base material, which is premium outdoor vinyl, and then place our vinyl on our mat. You can smooth it down with a brayer to make sure your vinyl is stuck to your mat well and you're getting out all those little bubbles and then go ahead and stick it in your Cricut machine and have it cut out. Then we're gonna weed out all the negative pieces of our designs. I accidentally weeded some letters that I shouldn't have, so I went back into Cricut Design Space and cut out the individual letters that I needed, rather than cut out the whole design again, and then I was able to put those pieces back into place using tweezers. Next, grab some transfer tape and smooth it out over your design. Before we transfer our design onto our buckets, double check to make sure that the backing will come off with no problem. So lift up the backing and slowly peel it back. Make sure it's sticking well to the transfer tape and then lay the backing back down over top of the design. It's such a gorgeous day. So I'm heading outside and I'm gonna wipe down my old food bucket using some rubbing alcohol, and then I'm gonna let it dry for a bit. Next, grab some tape. I'm using painter's tape, but you could use masking tape, and line your design up on your bucket. I like to put some tape on each side of my design, and then grab a measuring tape or a ruler, and measure from the bottom up, making sure both sides are the same, so that you know that your design is going on straight. Once your design is positioned where you want it to be, take the tape off one of the sides and slowly separate your transfer tape from the backing. And then grab your scissors and cut some of that backing off. What we're doing here is called the hinge method. So you're going to slowly press your design down onto the bucket and then either use your hand or a scraper and rub all over your vinyl, making sure it sticks really well to your bucket. Then I'm gonna peel off the remaining pieces of tape here and then pull back your design on the other side and carefully remove the backing while pressing the rest of your design onto the bucket. Once again, you're gonna take your hand and rub all over that design or grab a scraper and do that. Next, we're going to slowly remove the transfer tape. The transfer tape I used was actually a little too tacky for the vinyl I was using, so it was sticking to my transfer tape a little bit too well, and I pulled some of my letters up off my bucket. 
but I'm gonna let you know how I fix that. So when you're doing this, just make sure you're doing it really slow and maybe rub a little bit more with your finger if you need to. But if you did lose letters like I did, you're gonna jump back on to Cricut Design Space. You're gonna detach your design and then ungroup your design and you may also need to ungroup the individual word you're working with. Select the letters that you want to cut out again and then make them a different color. If the letters are right next to each other, you can select both of them and attach those letters together. But if the letters are from different locations on your design, there's no need to attach them together. Then you can go ahead and just cut out that one colored mat. So we're not cutting out the whole design, just those individual letters that you change the color of. And then you can weed out those letters and use them to fix your mistake, this time using a different transfer tape if you have a different one. Once everything's in place, you can go ahead and grab some lights. I got these submersible lights on Amazon and they each come with a remote, but you can use the same remote for all of the lights. You don't have to use individual ones if you don't want to. We are going to stick these lights in the bucket if you wanted to secure the lights, you could do that with command strips, either sticking them on the bottom of your bucket, or you could put them on the inside of the lid, or you can just let them float around in your bucket. All right, let's test this out. The lights I'm using have different settings, so that's a lot of fun. You can use these buckets as a stool or a water bucket to put out campfires or a water toy refill station or even an ice bucket to keep your drinks cool in the summer. I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you're planning on making one, let me know in the comments. Also leave any questions there as well. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.